The community is also coming together for Transgender Day of Remembrance to reflect on lives lost due to violent acts of hate. And some of those murders remain unsolved. Local 10 crime specialist Bridget Matter is in Wilton Manor tonight with a solemn tribute and the calls for justice. And sadly, 2021 has been the deadliest year on record in America for transgender people. Wilton Manor's community came together today to commemorate those lost. The LGBTQ community and its allies came together for Transgender Day of Remembrance in Wilton Manors. I think it's important that we continue to stand in solidarity with our community. At least 45 trans or gender non-conforming people were killed this year in the United States. Their names and faces on these posters, including 45-year-old Alexis Braxton. This year I lost my daughter, which is Alexis Braxton, due to senseless violence. She was murdered in her home. Tatiana Williams says Alexis came into her life at just 17 years old before her transition. She chose me to be her mother, so I walked her through that life and her transition to be the woman she knew that she wanted to be. In February of this year, Braxton was killed inside her apartment at the Carmel at the California Club Complex in Miami. Police say she was attacked. A member of the transgender community was found deceased inside her apartment and what we consider to be a very violent and vicious attack. Williams was one of several tonight who shared their pain in losing someone to violence. I lost my cousin Cleo, who was only 20 years old, who was murdered in Miami at Citrix, which is an LGBTQ um, shelter. 2021 marks the deadliest year in America for transgender people, according to the Human Rights Campaign, a statistic this community says is alarming. I'd say that, like, trans people have to live a life in fear that's the most upsetting a life where you are scared to exist braxton's case remains open and unsolved as of tonight if you have any information you're asked to call police you can always remain anonymous by calling crime stoppers we're in wilton manners tonight bridget matter local 10 news mm. okay so Thank y'all so much for watching um, that video with me. Y'all already know I'm Novana Beta and this is I Am Trans News. So make sure you leave a like, a comment, and that you subscribe, okay? Um, it is definitely a hard life for a trans person. And as a trans person myself, it is definitely hard. Um... I haven't had any surgeries or I haven't had anything done besides such like medication type of stuff as far as my transition. And I'm 33, I'm black, and like, you know, it is a hard, I live in a hood, it's like, it's hard, it's hard out here, and it's hard. I just, I've been going through depression so much, honestly, on and off, and I'm just trying to find my way through this world, and... I don't know. I don't really know what to say. Um, I definitely know that it's hard, though. What are your experiences as a trans person in this world? Have you almost lost your life from being trans? Was your life ever put in a situation where you could have died, where you could have lost your life? Um... Leave that in the comment section below. I'm interested in hearing your stories. Um, maybe one day I'll share my story on here um, more fully. But until then, um, I just want to thank y'all again for watching and riding with me and subscribing and all that good stuff. And I will see y'all in the next video.